Times Magazine and this is Show Center. We're here in Louisville, Kentucky for the 2014 North American International Livestock Expo. While a cold front sweeps in through the country, people have gathered here for some of the nation's largest livestock shows and sales. Next week, the show will also host some of the country's top livestock judging competitions. Let's take you for a look through the tieouts and barns. Two bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches. Two bacon, egg, and cheese? Would that be all for you today? Hi, we're here with Tracy Murphy. We're outside of the barns here in Louisville. Tracy, how long have you been serving out food here? I've been serving here about 12 great years. 12 great years? Oh, what's, yeah. your, what's your favorite thing? My favorite thing is when I get to see everybody coming like one big family reunion once a year. Do you realize how like you make people's day when you're out here? You're always happy and smiling and serving them great food. It's just a really nice relief from the stress of the shows. Do you realize? No, I don't, but that's my pleasure. I'm, I'm glad I can do that. Awesome. Well, we hope to see you back here every year. You're always a highlight and a joy. Thank you. I hope I can come back. Probably the freshest heifer in the class is the one that comes here in second. I think she's thinner about her neck. She's still one that has it.
I stand here sharp with Cam that I think in terms of length and neck, in terms of freshness, in terms of overall shoulder, the way he comes together in his forehead, the way he blends into that rear flank, and the way he levels out over that head and puts that hind leg down. He shows me enough natural mass and muscle to the center part of his rib, the center part of his rump. He carries it down into that lower side. He's the one that he hits me awful hard, folks, when you look at him from the side. And when they get right behind him, is he going to be the, the one that's just going to win the track race? Probably not, but I think he's more than adequate in that aspect today. But man, he's done a nice job with him along. We're about to pick champion steer. We'll be ready to start the Key Angus show. Bring all those Key Angus efforts to scale. Did yeah. you expect this when you were hauling them out here? No, actually I didn't. I set my goals fairly low. We were looking we were looking at like a fourth in class. That's what don't, we were shooting for. That's what we were shooting say for. That. Well dang it, I think you way outshot your fourth place in the class. <laughs> yeah, for gonna, sure. Any celebrating tonight? Any big plans or are you just still soaking it all in? Yeah, soaking it all in. A little tired. A little tired? Yep. I don't think you should go to bed early tonight. This is something that's a huge accomplishment. Some of the top end exhibitors in the whole entire country were here today. So you really should just soak this in and enjoy it. And how old are you? Uh, just turned 20. Just turned 20? So do you have another blue yeah. going to come back? We'll see. Are you going to go out on top? We'll see. We'll see. Well, stay tuned for that answer, but congratulations. Thank you. Here with Jeff Sargent, who just finished up judging the market steer show in Louisville. What are you feeling, or your thoughts about the show today? Well, as always, you know it's, it's Louisville. Hey, it's going to be a good steer show. Maybe the numbers are down just a little bit, but I don't think the quality is down. Uh, just you know the way they can breed these cattle, and the way that they get them presented, and the way they get them fed. It's amazing. It makes for a lot of tough decisions out there. Oh, I know, and I know the steer show is always kind of a big hype. It's kind of like. I know up on a pedestal, it's a little bit different from the breeding out here. And you've been on the list of judge here for a few years. It's been kind of cool to finally be out there in the green ships. Everybody always talks about it. Oh yeah, no doubt. It's a rush. I mean, uh, to be down there and, and see those kids and the intensity and the time and the work that they put into it. And knowing how much their families put into it as well. And every bit of the rush just funnels right through to you. And, and uh, it's a real, real privilege and honor for me to do it. Well, I've heard nothing but good things about the show so far today. So good job out there, and it was a pleasure watching you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Once again, I'm Lisa Reed with the Showtimes Magazine, and thank you for watching this edition of Show Center. The snow's rolling in as the junior shows finish up here in Louisville. A big congratulations to Kennedy Cora on exhibiting the Supreme Champion Breeding Female and Brendan Merritt on the Grand Champion Market Steer. Advertisers, don't forget our deadline of December 10th for our upcoming January-February Stock Show edition of the magazine. We look forward to seeing everybody in Denver this coming January.